Babe. Yes. A moment of silence for our queen. Yes. She retired. She retired, but she lives on in our hearts. And at late at night when I'm trying to sleep, I don't count sheep. I count I Yolanda. Listen to Yolanda Vega calling out ball numbers. That's what I do. Yolanda Vega, we love you. There's a home here. Third mic. Yolanda Vega. Yolanda Vega. We wish her the best. We wish her the best. She is part of New York. She's part of making dreams come true. She made all my dreams come true, Yolanda Vega. She gave me the strength and courage to put February 11th the, the in Washington, D.C. I will be at the Warner Theater. She gave me the strength to put February 11th at the Warner Theater in Washington, D.C. and February 12th at the Tabernacle Atlanta, Georgia for Homeless Pimp's birthday show. Woo -woo. She gave me the strength to put those on sale. I'll tell you right now, you're going to be in D.C. then. I'm going to be in D.C. February 19th. Warner Theater? No, not the Warner Theater. Uh, somewhere else that I'm forgetting. Okay. Okay. Uh, fudge. I should have remembered. Yeah. All right. Listen, Yolanda Vega, she recently retired. And guess what? Yolanda Vega, my life wouldn't be the same. She gave me the strength and courage to go to Washington, D.C. on February 11th at the Warner Theater and do stand-up comedy. I'll be at ChristyComedy.com, February 11th, Warner Theater, Washington, D.C. And then the very next night, February 12th, the Tabernacle, Atlanta, Georgia, for Homeless Pimp's birthday show, February 12th. Beautiful. And I'm going to D.C. She gave me that strength, but she gave me the strength to go to D.C. on February 19th. Got and it. there I'm playing the... Capital One Hall. Got the it. night before that, I'm in Albany playing the egg on February 18th. I mean, the egg is the best. And, and we sold out the first one trying to sell out the second egg. Because who orders one egg? No, Nobody got, orders one egg. You got to have eggs. You got to break a couple eggs to make an omelet. February 26th, I will be at the Borgata in Atlantic City. That show was rescheduled because of the snowstorm. March 4th, I will be in Royal Oak, Michigan at the Royal Oak Music Theater. And well, March 5th, Agora Theater, Cleveland, Ohio. I just played the Agora. It was a hot show. I loved it. You're going to love it there. Really? You're playing the Royal Oak Theater when? March 4th. I'm playing it February 11th, uh, unless it happened already. No, it's happening this coming week. Yes. February 11th at the Royal Oak, in, uh, right outside Detroit. February 12th at Pittsburgh in at the freaking, I can't, I don't remember. The, the music, Car Carnegie, Carnegie. Carnegie of Homestead Music Hall. Andrew Carnegie, Homestead Steakhouse. There's second shows in all these places. That's what we're trying to sell out. Get there, SalvoCanoComedy.com. Listen to this, babe. And then also, we got a documentary coming out on YouTube.com slash No Press, that homeless pimp uh, film, the documentary of Taste Buds and Hey Babe behind the scenes stuff. It's going to be a touring beat. behind touring the scenes. Touring everything. It's a fully real, like it's a two hour job. Yeah. Also, Shout like and subscribe. Pimp. To our YouTube page, okay? You need to like, subscribe, tell Spotify, friends, iTunes, leave us a rating, give us a follow. Beat the shit out of you. Yeah. It, it <laughs> That's means what it's gone down. We never <laughs> ask. We never ask for anything, yeah. but it means a lot. Ask if you want to get the absolute shit kicked out of you. Yeah. If you do, then you won't like and subscribe to the podcast. Correct. If you don't, then like and subscribe. Me and Chris, you're at the Ryman March 11th, Nashville, Tennessee. Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say, hey, babe, hey. I look real good, hey, babe. 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 Hey, babe. What's going on, babe? Babe, how wild were those football games on Sunday? I mean, this is one of the best playoff years that I can remember in a while. Although I usually forget the playoffs right after they happen. Right. But I mean, these have been down to the wire, two minute drill OT type games. It, it's literally, 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 literally one of the best football seasons. I, I mean, I was watching it last night or well, a few nights ago, and I couldn't believe I was saying if the Rams win, if the Rams win, it will be for the second year in a row. The home team playing in the home stadium of the Super Bowl. Which had never happened before, right? Before Tom Brady won it. Right. Shout out Tom Shout Brady. Shout out Tom Brady. Yeah. Shout out Tom Brady. He won. They won the Super Bowl this year. Correct. Well, last year. They won last year, right. And in Tampa. In Tampa. Yeah. And he's the oldest person in the NFL. He won. Yeah. He led his team there. And, you know. I would be remiss Patty, it. Patty Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, who just was eliminated from the playoffs, but he's going to have a good year, and it's not going to happen this season, but maybe it'll happen next season for Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, you got a talented squad there. Talented you squad. You got Clyde, uh, Clyde Edwards. You got uh, Hill. You got Kelsey. 
Yes. Got a lot of people. You got a lot of great, great O line there. Great O line. He sits in the pocket like he has, like he can file his nails and and and, and put on Lee press ons. He has all the time in the world. Hundred percent. Yeah. And then Tom Brady retired and then didn't retire and now uh, is he retired, retired or not? I don't know. They're saying they're saying that uh, they're blaming it on his wife Giselle Bunchen. Yeah. Uh, that they're saying that she's the one that spread it. But Tommy B said he came oh, right oh, out. Oh, I didn't Whoa. say that. I didn't say it. Now, will he retire or not? Uh, Yono y- say right. Do I think he should retire? No, because I'll tell you what we're not retiring. Because he, be- he was the leading quarterback in the NFL. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. There's no reason for And him by to the way, he did what he was supposed to do. He marched down that field. He did his two-minute drill, and he got them in the game again. Yeah. I just can't believe that. And then, and then they came back and lost. Yeah, it's just it's, it's, almost, it's almost not his fault at all. I mean, the, you know. Well, uh, um, who, who beat him? Um, the bu- who beat the Bucs? Uh, was it, no, it wasn't the Rams. Uh, yeah, it was the Rams. The Rams. It was the Rams. The Rams in Tampa because I was at the Tampa Theater it was Rams. the next night, and then I was going to L.A., so all the Rams fans were coming into Tampa, and I was leaving. And Stafford got back downfield, and, and they got it. Yeah. Yeah. And now, St- I mean, listen, it's great. Even Stafford now, you know, um, he's a good story, too. I mean, he was on the Detroit Lions for all those years, just, just flound, you know, doing nothing, floundering away, and I was, and I was in the SB. Shout, shout out. Shout out. Shout out Matthew Stafford. Shout out Matthew Stafford. Gonna be Shout out the there. Cincinnati Bengals. I mean, the Cincinnati Bengals. I you, mean. who I got a root for them, by the way. Everybody, Because here's the thing. If it would have been the Chiefs-Rams, it would have been on kind of a boring Super Bowl. Yeah. But the Bengals make it fun. Yeah. The yeah. Bengals make it fun. I cannot believe they won last I don't think they've been in the Super Bowl since when? Uh, 1988. Icky Woods or something like that? Or I think even before that. or 89. Yeah. They uh, are never in contention. Never, ever, They're ever a fun contention. team. They're a scrappy team. They're a young team. And, and it's nice. A Bengal is a nice animal. Because you yeah. don't hear about Bengals too much. Everyone's always talking about lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. But nothing yeah. about Bengals. Yeah. And a Bengal? I mean, a Bengal's a gorgeous animal. What's the difference between a Bengal and a tiger? Do we know the difference between a Bengal and a tiger? Not a clue. Not a clue. Nothing. You could put a You could put a suitcase down right now with 100 million untraced, unmarked bills. And, and you wouldn't and, know. And I wouldn't be able to answer. Here it is. Siberian tiger has... Ve- well, Siberian tiger? Uh, tigers are from Siberia? I mean, they don't blend in. They're bright orange. Siberian tiger has very thick, pale, golden, or rusty red coat covered with black stripes. Belly is white colored. Bengal tiger has thin, light yellow fur with brown or black stripes. Belly and inner parts of legs are white colored. So, so that's interesting. So the Bengal, pull up a picture of a Bengal. Not from Cincinnati. But pull up, I mean, while Bengal you're at it. Bengal versus tiger, you can't. You can't tell the difference. Pull up a picture of Susanna Hoffs. Yes. Do you know who that is? Is that the one with one leg from Dancing with the Stars? No, no. <laughs> she's the lead singer of the Bangles. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not the Bangles, the Bangles. The Bangles. But she's a lifelong gorgeous. I mean, she's a lifelong crush. Oh, yeah. Smoke lifelong. Show. Oh, my God. Speaking of music, I mean, listen. It, it, this is not. This is not. Uh, you know about where we stand. I look real good today. today. I, I look, look real, real good today. today. God. Um, I mean, you gotta feel. You even if you're a huge fan, even if you're a huge fan and don't want to get involved in this controversy at all, whatever. But even if you're a huge fan, you got Neil Young has to feel pretty dumb that he said, "I'm gonna." It's either me or Joe Rogan, Spotify, and Spotify deliberated for 30 minutes and took Neil Young's music immediately off the platform. Well, he's probably not getting... I mean, get- immediately, <laughs> they just said, we choose Joe. <laughs> Suck it, Neil. He, he's probably not getting 11 million downloads a, a song right, right now. Right, but... But uh, did you hear what happened, though, in the no, wake t- of that? T- tell me, tell me. I read an article okay. that said that in the wake of that news, because now Joni Mitchell came through, and now they're saying the food... No, relate- no relation to Paul Mitchell, Joni Mitchell, right? No, the hair, the hair guy? Right. No, he's in salons. She's in cafes strumming. Got it. Okay. So, b- by the way, I got to say, I love this look. You like it? It looks like Abercrombie and Fitch. It looks like you just played tennis, maybe? Polo. It's different. It looks like you came from the polo grounds. Yeah. yeah. You look preppy. You look That's what waspy. I'm going for. That's what I'm going for. You look like you come from, from wealth. Well, I'm going Chrissy, Connecticut. This is this is this character. Yeah. You look like yeah. you brunch. Yes. You look like you vacation for the summer. Absolutely. What I like, what I'd like, sir, is a lobster roll and a seltzer and a Aris, 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 A
Aperol spritz. Aperol spritz yeah, and you a look lobster like, roll. You look like you ask people, where do you summer? That's when you know you made it. Yeah. When you ask people where they go for the entire summer. Yeah. They up and you know those people. I hate when people go, where do you vacation? Yeah. Ugh. I Well, where I summer at Splish Splash at the end of the LIE. <laughs> <laughs> in, in Suffolk County, Long Island. Yeah. I'm, over at the, I, I'm over at the uh, Sesame Place over in Langhorn. <laughs> yes. Um. So, so what was the controversy? You said? I, I okay. heard that in the wake, so other f- artists are following suit. Now there's Did somebody die. No, you said the wake. Oh, in the wake of the controversy. Uh, oh, I thought you said you were at a wake no, and you no, heard no, it. No, no. no. Uh, in the wake of the controversy, Joni Mitchell chimed in. Now I heard that other other bands and other big musicians are possibly thinking about following suit. And I heard, I heard. I don't know if this is hearsay. I heard one of them is the Foo Fighters, which would be a swift kick in the Spotify balls. But yes. I will tell you. I read an article that said their stock dropped uh, and they lost $4 billion. Spotify. 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 Spotify lost $4 billion. Wow. See, because that's what this is about is a lot of things because it is it is easy because perception is reality, right? So if the perception that Spotify is going down, then they lost money. Now Spotify has to listen even if they, even if they are getting 12 Correct. million downloads. By the way, I just want to say this isn't come. This is hair gel. Just right. FYI. Well, I'm disappointed. Okay. Uh, can you pull up Sp- uh, Spotify, $4 Spotify. Billion stock? Now what is now? Let's say he gets kicked off Spotify, Joey Roro. Did he just go back to the tube? I guess, right? I don't know. You got to go back to YT. What but, do we got? No, but is it? It said that they lost four billion bucks. Four billion dollars. Yeah. No, is that? I would say that's. that's Why did stock Spotify stock drop? Maybe right there. Or who knows when that by is? By the way, so. you know what I'm having for dinner tonight? Stuff. Spotify's peppers. here. Here. Spotify shares were down by 12% the week after the Neil Young requested his music be removed. Blah, blah, blah. In a post to the site on Friday, Young said he felt better that he left. Uh, 12% here. Okay. 12%. I, I would hey, say. Boom, 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 pow. Read that. By Friday, Spotify lost, lost $4 billion in market value, the San Francisco Chronicle Datebook reported. Wow. So $4 billion, But still, they're standing by Joe Rogan. So yeah. do you think that he's bringing in more than they're losing? Did you, well, did you, what happened? they paid him 100 mil, oh. right? Something like that? I thought he just slapped a fly. <laughs> <laughs> they paid him 100 mil? So imagine what they're making off of him if they're paying him has, 100 mil. Well, because Joe Rogan, allegedly, he had went down when he first on Spotify deal. People were angry. He was off YouTube. He wasn't getting the viewership. But now he's back up to 12 to 15 million views an episode. Really? Yeah. On Spotify? Back. He's back up to his numbers at YouTube. That's what they say. He's back. Because I think all the COVID stuff and, you know, he's become such a folk hero. I mean, all it shows you is that it's, it's just about the money. It's Show just me the about money. the money. When, when, when people get canceled, it's because... Uh, a lot of times when they when people get canceled, especially immediately, it's because the corporations are afraid, afraid of the public blowback. That's what because yeah. they're afraid of their stock prices. They're afraid <laughs> yes. of everything to dip, and they make decisions based not really on right or wrong per se. Yes, but more so like money. That's why sometimes there's a controversy that isn't even rectified yet, and that person is done yeah, deal. Yeah, uh, the the, the people want to be own, in those waters. The people who own those companies might very well agree with the person there firing but they like you said it's it the perception's reality well, they, so they get, the stock they get, price goes they, down they said two things they said get me uh the joe rogan file and get me the neil young file yes and then they went like this they saw a number and they went like that and they saw a number and they go we don't agree with neil young <laughs> yes that's what happens see you later alligator yeah um yeah so but so, if if more artists start doing it, i mean look he probably has all the money he's gonna make i don't know like he's uh, he probably can afford to do it i don't know if younger artists can but he's still streaming everywhere else should we pull our stuff off Spotify? I don't even think we get paid for it, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't think comedians and podcasts how get paid this? a lick. Here's here's how, here's what me and Sal are doing. How do we're we not put, get paid? We're putting more episodes on Spotify. That's right. <laughs> we're putting more content on Spotify. That's right. Yeah, we should be getting. But well, there's a that's a big controversy. Why don't we get paid? Comics. Why doesn't the art? Why don't comics and podcasters get paid for their you know albums or yeah. plays or whatever? Like it's other frustrating art. too because all these NFT people are making millions and they're doing nothing. You Justin know? Bieber buys uh, buys Board Ape and. NFT for 1.29 million. Now, the Bored Ape NFT thing is a big thing. It's like a radical thing that's yeah. happening. But Bored, I would invest in the metaverse. And, and of course, you know, I'm Chrissy Crypto. But the Bored Ape thing just seems like a scam. Does it not, Pimpy? That's it right I there. Don't know. That's the price of the house you bought. Yes, 1.29 million. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So you could shelter your family indefinitely. Indefinitely. Yeah. Well, you could have that cartoon ape 
on a digital file. Well, I'm going to have to break the news to my kids tonight. <laughs> We're getting a cartoon. What's ape. funny is that might appreciate quicker than your house. 100%. Real estate is the is the big it's the investment that has stood the test of time, right? Yes, it has. It'll go up no matter what. No matter, no matter what, what, you can it's a long term, but you invest in real estate, you can't go wrong. 100%. And this might a cartoon of a board eight might be, might be a real it. estate investment. Speaking of investing, I just want to say something that's out of left field, but your hair is on fire today. I Thank mean, you. it has reached the state. It has we have went through the awkward phase. We had went yeah. through the now it is now it is just I mean it's is it, it's classic healthy, I almost cut healthy it. hair. I almost cut it. What? Like in the last two weeks, I tried to cut it three times. That'd be a power move if you did that. Yeah. Just to be like, you know what? I grew it out to this thing. And that's what I do when I get in shape. I get my body all the way down to I'm ripped. I said, I'll get fat again in a month. Watch right, me. right, right. And that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You think you people have something over on me? Yeah. I'll get fat again. Look at these tits. <laughs> uh, so, wow. So, you almost cut it. And what happened? The power. I, I got sick and tired of it, but I don't do it the right way. Because I never can do it the way he does it when I leave there. So, then I, I, then, like then, uh, then I finally got, you know, I, I got some tips and tricks uh, from the lady, and then she, 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 and now I'm like, all right, now it's passable. Here's what I don't like: I, I don't like going on stage with it Why? I, because I sweat on stage, okay, and my hair gets frizzy and puffy and curly, but, and it just goes. Yeah, but see, that's and good. I look like so. I'm wearing hats on stage. I sweat in the hat. My face is covered a little you don't bit. Don't like that. No. Because then when you come out, because after you after your performance, you, you have sex hair. By yeah. the end of the show, you have it looks like the crowd. It looks like you just had sex with the crowd. Correct. Which, and which I did through I humor. Did. Yeah, through humor. Yeah. Yes, you gave yeah. him. You gave him your big fat pishka deal with jokes. <laughs> with jokes. <laughs> <laughs> pishka deal is such an Italian like regional thing. Yeah, like, I don't think everybody knows pishka deal. Pishka deal. It means pishka deal is like yeah, and a real Italian guy would say that that's a name for his penis. Yeah, the pishka deal. I don't know. Because pishka deal would mean nothing else but penis in my opinion. Like, I don't. I wouldn't know. say. I don't know if you can do this. Does Pishka deal mean anything? Is it like, does oh. it? I don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> Pishka deal. Oh, yeah, Pishka deal. Favorite yeah. garbage Italian slang. That's what it says. <laughs> can we see? Yeah, I, you know what? Some people put a C in there. They say Pishka deal instead of Pishka deal. I go Pishka deal. Pishka deal. Pishka deal. Put away Pishka deal. Pishka deal is funny, too. I like Pishka deal. <laughs> Pishka. I like to make mine a little Eastern European. Pishka deal. Pishka deal. Uh, yeah. So, um, what is Pishka deal? Old school Italian slang for male, male genitalia. <laughs> Hashtag mob wives. <laughs> okay. Pishka deal. Pishka deal. Um, does anyone know that? Is that like Italian Italian or is that like here Italian? Like, I think that's New York Italian. Yeah. I think that that's one of those slangs like it's New York. I think you go to Italy. You know, even in Italy, and our Italian fans, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know a, 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 an Italian, relatively famous Italian man. His name is Franco Facanetti. Fucking Eddie, but he's huge. He, um, as a matter of fact, um, Conor McGregor punched him in the face. I did no. the Ultimate Beastmaster with this guy. Yeah, go up, uh, Fucking Eddie, F A C C, F A C C H I. Yeah, Fran Francesco Fucking Eddie. He's a uh, DJ? Conor McGregor punched him in the face for what? Uh, see. Uh, I don't know. He just got crazy at a party. But I've known this guy since 2016 with the Ultimate Beastmaster together on Netflix, which I was fired from. Um, but Fran Franco Facanetti told me that in Italy, you know, he's from, he, he, by the way, his, his, um, his father is a famous musician from a band called Pooh. The name of the band is Pooh. And they're humongous in Italy. Wow. A, Italian pan poo. Yeah, poo. P <laughs> <laughs> poo. That, that's his dad. He was the lead singer. Poo. Oh, my he, God. He said, he said, my band, my father have a band named Poo. <laughs> his father's like, always remember, everything you have in this yeah. world come from a poo. Come from a poo. Look where poo was formed. Uh... Oh. Bologna. Bologna. <laughs> Poo. And he's, and he's Poo is formed from Bologna. And it was a beautiful time. And we have 100,000 people yelling Poo. Um, so Poo. So, so yeah, Robbie Facanetti. See? Wow. So he said from Poo. Was, this guy is great. Francisco, uh, Franco Facanetti is the best. I love it. We talk sometimes well, on WhatsApp. What does Poo mean? He goes, I remember because you know how COVID hit Italy first. Yeah. I remember like and it was a time when, you know, nobody thought that COVID was going to come here like that. And then I remember he sent me a WhatsApp. He says, COVID's coming. It's going to kill everybody. <laughs> he just sent me a WhatsApp. He goes, in Italy, you're killing everybody. You're going to kill everybody very soon. No. And I was like, thanks. And that was the whole voice. He says, it might kill your whole family. Wow. And I was like, thank you. I was like, I'm listening to Pooh. And he went, hello, hello. And, uh, but, but Daddy, anyway. am I going to be in the wheel? But Franco, I want a piece of the pool. Yeah, hey, pool. Uh, oh, you, you leave me some of the pool. <laughs> Fra, uh, <laughs> Franco, Franco. And to you, my first and only son, I leave you eighty percent of the pool. <laughs> pool. 
Um, do you like pool? So uh, Facanetti told me that fettuccine Alfredo is an American thing. It's not real in Italy. He said, if you go to Italy and go, can I get fettuccine Alfredo? They would know either an American tourist idiot and they, or they'd say no. They don't know what they said. Who's, he said, who's Alfredo? Right. There's right, no right. Alfredo. Did you know that? No, but That's I didn't an American know. thing. No, I didn't fettuccine know Fettuccine Alfredo is a completely made up American thing. Wait, wait. Wh- why'd you bring up Facanetti to begin with? Because, because we were talking about things that are um, words and that oh, are made up like Pisca and oh, I said yeah, other yeah. things in Italy that are, are made up like Alfredo. Right. I know that's why I brought up Franco Facanetti. Pisca Deal would be a good name for a. Should we have a band for, called Pisca Deal? A, a, a band or, or or maybe a comedy special. Pisca Deal. Pisca Deal. Pisca Deal. Um, so so yeah, dude. So so um um, uh, with uh, Facanetti, what were we talking about? With something we came off of it. Bangles. Oh, bangles. Yeah, back to the bangles. <laughs> Basically, no. yeah. Let's bring it back to the Bengals. Bengals, who's uh, been known to eat fettuccine Alfredo and poo. Um, Siberian, yeah, we, we were talking about the Cincinnati. Oh, here we go. Board ape. <laughs> what, what, so is this one person making all the apes? I have no clue. Is, is it Pimp? It's called Pimp the, knows the, about I this stuff. Board ape. Oh, baby. Draft Kings, the moment we've been waiting for since September is finally here. I mean, if you can't, I can't even watch sports anymore without watching them through Draft Kings just because. It just gives the game so much more flavor. It's so much more exciting. I'm not a professional athlete, but so sometimes it gets a little boring. And I'm not a professional gambler. I'm not a professional gambler either, but guess what? You don't have to be. I understand. With DraftKings, because right now, if you download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, okay? They're giving new customers... What? Wait, what? Is yes. that real? A free shot at a million dollars. Okay, official sports betting partner, Super Bowl 56. New customers, 56 to 1 odds on either team. Bet 5 bucks and get 280 in free bets if your team wins. Yes, so that's insane. And if it's now it's live in New York, meaning you can bet from almost a third of the country. So one third of the country, you can bet from free shot at $1 million, top prize with their first deposit. And if you download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now and use the promo code Hey babe, and get fifty six to one odds on either. Uh, uh, you will get fifty six to one odds on either team. What really? You just bet five bucks and get two hundred eighty in free bets if the team wins. Wow! And then you could roll that. You could roll that to. So that's the promo code Hey babe at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl fifty six. Twenty one plus. Minimum age and location requirements vary by jurisdiction. See DraftKings dot com slash sportsbook for full list of requirements and state specific responsible gaming resources. Void where prohibited. Gambling problem? Call one eight hundred Gambler in Tennessee. Call or text TN Redline one eight hundred eight eight nine nine seven eight nine. In Connecticut, call eight 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 seven eight nine seven 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 or visit ccpg.org slash chat in new york call eight seven seven eight hope ny or text hope ny at four six seven three six nine listen two out of three men here's what's gonna happen to two out of three men they're gonna experience some sort of hair loss in their lifetime and their wives by, will cheat by on the them. age of 35 by the age of 35 <laughs> more, more than, than 50, 50 million, million men, men in, in the, the u.s suffer, suffer from, from male, male pattern, pattern baldness. Baldness. mpb and Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. And that's any of its competitors. And there's only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. And guess who has them keeps both? Keeps offers them both. Keeps. They got them both, baby. Simple, affordable, stress-free way to keep your hair. Via convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your dough. Every three months, you don't have to leave your home. 24-7 care and support. Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to support you in making your hair goals a reality. And it's a low cost. Treatments start at just 10 bucks a month. Amazing. And Keeps offers generic versions of the two FDA-approved medications to prevent your hair loss. So treatments are affordable, typically half the price of pharmacies. When it comes to your hair, save more, spend less. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss go to keeps.com slash hey babe to receive your first to receive your first month of treatment for free baby that's keeps.com slash hey babe get your first month for free keeps.com slash hey babe board ape yacht club it kind of might be a babe right that's right me too i thought babe was board ape pimp it's a different thing. No, it's a, this is just an artist collection. Uh, like he made only, I think, a hundred thousand of these. Hundred percent only exists on the metaverse. So this board ape yacht no, club. These are NFTs. Uh, but but don't NFTs only exist in the metaverse? I I no, they exist in the blockchain. A limited what? NFT collection where the token itself <laughs> doubles as your membership to a swamp club for apes. The club is open. Ape in with us. 
But my question is, is this Board Ape Yacht, Board Ape Yacht Club isn't physically here. Am I right about that? It only exists online. Correct. So should we try to buy a Board Ape right now? Do you want to buy a Board Ape? Uh, how much are they? Okay, let's read it. Let's get into this right now. 300K. The bo- and I, but are they? But who's going to buy one from me? I, I spent three hundred k on a cartoon. Jimmy Fallon just bought one. Justin Bieber bought it three hundred percent above what it went for. Why? Because he, he must have liked the design. A collection of ten thousand ape avatars that individually act as tickets to an online social club has become one of the most prominent brands in the NFT space, and now the NFTs have gen- generated more than one billion in total sales. Can I use? Can I get a? Can I get a board ape ticket and get into the Soho House with that? Yeah, this is like even more <laughs> useless than the Soho House. They have an average. They have, they have an average sale of over two hundred thousand as of this writing, which was a couple of weeks ago, with a growing list of celebrity owners ranging from Shaquille O'Neal to MNM to St- Stephen Curry, Stephon Curry to Steve, Steve Aoki. Aoki. One time, I saw Steve Aoki at a at a breakfast in a hotel in LA and he was wearing um like big huge headphones and I'll never forget he ordered three green juices and three plates of bacon I don't know what the hell he was oh, wow. and he just ate he ate and drank all of them isn't he ripped he's like yeah it's like uh he's small but he ordered three green juices and three three plates of just bacon and wow I was like, okay that's but he had headphones on and he was like you know on his laptop which you're not allowed to do at the Soho house no <laughs> You know? <laughs> no, no wonder he's dressing this way. <laughs> Are you trying to get in? <laughs> Wait, do you want to get into the soul house? <laughs> I got drunk and joined. <laughs> no, you didn't. I got smashed. When? Three weeks no, ago. No, no, Sal, the other night, uh, the, three weeks ago, he sent me a text. He joined Soho House and bought Louboutin shoes. I was like, I woke up the next morning, no memory of it. Louboutin shoes? I bought Louis Vuitton sneakers. I bought Wait, Louis Vuitton or Louboutin? Louboutin. I bought Louboutin sneakers for me and Louboutin <laughs> high heels for TT Jerry. No, you didn't. I swear to God. How much was that? <laughs> Like three thousand dollars. No. Yeah, all on credit. It's way bad. Way more. Way more. It's bad. <laughs> they're wearing them to the Beacon on Saturday, in New York. You're wearing Louboutins. I'm gonna wear the Louboutin sneakers, and Titi's gonna wear the matching high heels, and then I also join the Soho House. In one night. In one night. What What were you drinking? <laughs> Martinis. No, where? At the Soho House, I was a guest. <laughs> no, you were. Wait, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you were a guest at the Soho House, and you just drank martinis, and you joined. You went and asked, and you joined right there. Uh, that no, because I was sitting with uh, Emilio, who's a member. And then he goes, you should join. I go, you're right, I should. And then so so I was drinking martinis, and, you know, you have to sign up and all that. Yeah. And then I they forgot. They have to give you like a, they have to, you have to get two people to refer you, and right. you have to fill out a form. So he, the guy who I was sitting with gave me his referral right then yeah. and there. And then one of the, you know, general managers or something that was there as a friend was like, just put my name down. You'll get in. Just put my name So I do that, barely remembering this, get through it, stumble through it. Wake up the next You're morning. You're filling it out. I'm, no, well, online. Yeah, yeah, on my yeah, phone. yeah, yeah. Uh, the next morning, wake up. I have a $3,000 charge from American Express. I said, I'm disputing this. Who the fuck bought Louis Vuitton? <laughs> <Right. laughs> it's not Louis Vuitton. <laughs> it's Louis Vuitton, right? No. And Louboutins. I call them Louis Vuittons. No, wait. Isn't that two, that's two different things? A Louboutin Louboutin. is not Louis Vuitton. I bought Louboutins. This is what I yeah, bought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christian. Christian Louboutins. Um, I bought matching uh, sneaks. Yeah, red bottom. I bought sneakers and uh, and high heel shoes. And for, you bought for TT. TT with, but TT's, I mean, was she right there? I, I texted Jazz. I said, what's TT Jerry's shoe size? And she was like 12 and a half. Boom, got them. 12 and a half high heel these, pumps. These are them, right? Those are the ones I got. And then matching ones with, with, with TT. Yeah, these are the ones I got. They wouldn't cost nine ninety five. Maybe they did. Oh I mean, God. what's crazy is it's a stupid thing, and I, I'm I have not paid that of amount of money for sneakers when I started collecting sneakers. I don't even like them. They yeah. look. I mean, they. I don't, I don't like, them. like them. I don't like them in the slightest. I don't like them like truthfully at all. As a matter of fact, after the Beacon Show, I'll sell them. I mean, I'll sell them for half price just to get some money back. I mean, whatever. I don't want them at all. I stayed the other night at his house. It was so funny. His daughter ran in the room and said, "You want to see my dad's Louboutins?" No. <laughs> yeah. And then oh my Del- Delilah had had my had TT Jerry's high heels on. Oh my god. So I did that, and then the Soho, and then I, and then I have an email from the Soho house being like, "Your your application is being um, reviewed." Reviewed. And I said, "What the hell?" So I said, "What what 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 happened here?" And then I got in, and then they, and then I got in, and you just get charged. I mean, just got yeah, charged. you just got charged. Yeah, they, they actually we... just charged me for this 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 cycle. Oh, so you remember? Yeah. Oh, so t- do you go? Nah. 
How many times have you been? Why don't we do a no press night at the Soho house? Oh, yeah, because DeRosa doesn't get in. DeRosa will be thrown out. You want a social club? (laughs) Joey Rosa. You're allowed three guests each, and as you call ahead sometimes, you can get, like, special... How many times have you truthfully been in? Uh, I've been been a part of the the, the thing for... I, I want to say four or five Can years. Can you guys explain what it is? Because I didn't know so it's, until... So it's, all it is is like a... a there's many of them. like it, the, All over the world. Well, there's many Soho houses all over the world, but there's other social clubs like it. Yeah. There's like four or five of them in New York. They're around. It's basically like a, you pay a membership fee to have access to their amenities, and they usually have a really like nice... It's like a restaurant, bar, hotel, lounge, workspace, event space. They bring people together. They have all different events there. It's for networking and socializing. You're not allowed to have phones out. You're not allowed to bother anybody if there's a celebrity there. So a lot of times... You can't people, even talk to anybody really, right? You're not supposed not, to talk you, to strangers? You, no, you, you, you can. You can. But they're supposed to not... No one's allowed to take photographs or have their phones out or bother, like go up to approach celebrities, quote right. unquote. So that's why like... It's really not comprised of celebrities. It's, it's a, I mean, it's mostly like... It's for creative types. Creative types, oh, yeah. Wow. So you guys pay for a ticket to a community of people with the same ticket. So it's, this is the NFT. This is an NFT, guys. So this is kind of this like an a, NFT. Basically a membership, right? It's, 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 a, is it worth it's, it? It's, 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 yeah. It's, um, well, it depends what you use it for, right? So, like, I know people that always, there's four or five of these houses in, in New York. Yeah. And they're always in there, like, in between, you know, work or this or that or writing or going in there. It's like a place you can go but to But you just, can't write. You can't have your laptop out. Post up. I thought you could. Oh. I thought you could have your laptop out. Maybe I'm wrong then. But but but, but when you go, like, would you ever just go for dinner? For yeah. drinks? So, for me, I just use it as a place to go. Where I don't need a reservation, that I can go and bring people, and not worry about people, uh, ostensibly not worry about people bothering me. Although every time I've ever gone, people still bother me. When have you? When have you? Every when time. Was the last time across you went? the country, they bothered me. When is the last time you went? So the one here, probably uh, in the summer. You want to go? There, yeah, I'll go. There's like three. There's like three. There's like three or four. Did you buy the world membership? World. Okay, yeah, I think I went. That's world, the way to yeah. do it. So, like, when you're in London or in Austin yeah. or in Nashville in or in Chicago or in any of these places, and they have it, just go. You have access. You ever stayed in one of the hotels there? I never did. You it's a little pricey, You have access right? to that too, yeah. where people don't, which I think is odd. You need access to to or. Or it's, it's a good discounted, maybe. I don't know. Well, they're going to take this further now. There's NFT restaurants launching. What does we'll that mean? An NFT restaurant opening in New York will serve up status with a side of seafood. What does that mean, though? Yeah, so, like, but my question is the NFT. Like, is it is it an edible NFT? Or you're saying regular <laughs> membership token on the second? So you pretty much buy, like, whatever, the, like, uh, the board ape thing, and it acts as a ticket to the social club. That's gonna but be can I only use it once? No, no, you're a member if you have the. So if you own an NFT, you can go in. Yeah. But you could buy an NFT for five dollars, can't no, you? No, no, it has to be their NFT they minted. That's a like they yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, see, to access the club, members must have a Flyfish NFT, which is a unique digital asset stored on the blockchain and purchased using cryptocurrency. The company released one thousand five hundred and one tokens this month, bringing in around fifteen million dollars. So they're now saying <laughs> that you buy a token to even enter the restaurant. And they made $15 million before selling a piece of food. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Nobody knows the menu yet. Oh, it's not even open yet. They're just launching. This is the but first you're wave. saying you can't get in. Even if I have, a, even if I have the booster, Here. I still can't get in. <laughs> Look at this. Definitely not. <laughs> As of Friday afternoon, you could buy a regular membership token on the secondary market for the equivalent of around $13,600, a token giving the holder access to an even more exclusive tier, which includes access to private rooms serving omakase. Chef-created multi-course sushi meals could be had for the equivalent of twenty nine five, and that's just to get you in the door. You still have to pay for your meals. What if you don't like sushi, though? <laughs> I mean, if a twenty nine thousand dollar ticket, you probably have to go to a different NFT restaurant. Yeah. So you imagine think- paying that twenty nine five to get in there and then be like, "This roll is outrageously priced." Oh, yeah, I can't believe. It. Yeah, that's my question: is do you have to then pay? Do you have to then pay for well, my question? The food. Be, what happens in the Soho House? Do you pay for the food? Yeah, yeah you have to pay for everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so 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 look. It's so, kind of insane. So I've been to. The food's good, though. I've been to all the Soho houses here, and I've been to Soho houses all around the, f- the friggin' world. World, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like if I go on the road, especially like in the UK, right? Yeah. We got out, we got off stage, and we're like, all right, let's go somewhere. We have company, we have guests. Where can we bring go them? Go to London. We would go Soho. to the, we brought them to the Soho house. That's the original. 
Yeah, the original. Well, there's a few, and you know, they just we got a little room. It's, it's always really cool. Like it's decorated. You, you saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, there's down. like fireplaces, couches. It's, it's nice, just easy, chill, it's cozy. And yeah, it's there's no dress code. There's no reservations. You, you don't just, have to make a reservation for the restaurants. You can just go. I don't believe they even take reservations. You just have to show up. There's I, always room. No. Sometimes you gotta wait. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you wait a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. But it's like I go because it's like. One, I want to see the space because they're all pretty nice. The food's usually pretty good. Yeah. And um, it's just a no-brainer for me. Right. Like, oh, we got to go somewhere. All right, if they have this, in the, they have a Soho house here. All right, let's go. Or another club. They have other social clubs. All right, let's just go here, and we don't have to think about it. And right. and hopefully no one will, will take pictures and stuff like that. Are you a member at any other social clubs or just Soho house? Just Soho house. But there's, there's a bunch of- That's the one I've heard of. What are the other ones? No, Tim, Tim knows them all. Ask Tim. Tim Dillon knows all There's the like social clubs. There's like five or six of them. It's like a country club, but for artists. He, I saw him railing on them once. <laughs> on Soho House? Well, he rails on everything. He yeah. didn't want, he yeah. want to be part of it. I think you, I'm, I mean, that is so Tim, but I don't yeah. know what he's. Tim yeah. Dillon showed up at my house uh, two weeks ago and was and uh, was literally rang the bell. And my daughter answered the door because she was home from school. And she goes, Tim's here. And I was like, what? And then I go and he was like, what's up, buddy? And then we went to the uh, diner and we had like a great meal, and he was making my kid laugh hysterical. And then he went to Newark Airport and went home. He went, and he went into the night. You never he saw went him into again. the night. Yeah, I've, I actually haven't spoken to him since. <laughs> really? I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> and he, told, he called me the other day and got me riled up. You saw those messages I left you. Oh, yes. Tim yeah. got you riled up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was leaving voice texts riled yeah. up. Yeah. About, you, yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll get into it. Nick Cannon confirms he's expecting eighth child. It's like Nick is Amish yeah. with Bree Teasy. Now, I just saw... Nick Cannon, uh, two, three weeks ago, I did his show, The Nick Cannon Show. Nick's a nice guy, a yeah. nice, nice guy. He was wearing maybe a $10,000 suit, and I had on pants from, like, Macy's. <laughs> yeah. where, where does he get all his money from? Nick, uh, his production see, company, right? Got to be wild and out. Yeah. Um, all the movies he's done. I mean, he's been the host of America's yeah, Got yeah, Talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the host of a show. What's his network? 30 Schmills. All right, that's 30 pretty. That's, that's pretty. I thought he was worth more than that. I but mean, it's cool. He's got a wild podcast. He, he's been on TV since he's like 14. Yeah. He's got the old TV money. Like but I two. thought he had hundreds of millions. That's why I was like, how does he have that much money? What did, What really is the number where you don't, like, you just can live, like, like never have a problem again? Is it $50 million? Well, well really, it's a, it's a sliding scale depending on what you want, right? I mean, if you, if you, if you made $20 million, you probably, have a, you probably got acc acclimated to a certain lifestyle. Then your, your answer to that question might be like, shit, I wish I had to like double or triple this. But before I even got on, uh, on in, the, in the public with anything in entertainment and I was my regular life, I would have sliced somebody's neck for a million dollars. For a million dollars. Like, I mean, I don't know. It used to mean something to make a, to be a millionaire and to make a million dollars. I mean, it still does, but, but yeah. like, it's people are selling their farts and NFTs and, yeah. and, and, and and they're making millions of dollars on YouTube. You know, like it's just like yeah. it doesn't it's not the same as when we were younger what it meant. Right, a million dollars is it doesn't have the same meaning now. Now it's like a billion dollars is a million right, dollars. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's like, oh, if you have a, if you're a billionaire, then you know the most outrageous celebrity spending habits of all time. I also Bond. think it's like the coasts, you know. But I think somewhere in the middle of the country, like everything else, like way of life, cost of living, property yeah. value is nowhere near that. Absolutely. So their answer would probably be way different than us. What would you? What's the number? What number would make you literally never work again? Even even for the love of it, you're like, fuck the love. I'm gonna spend this money and and live my life. I would say twenty five million dollars. Twenty five million. Twenty five million in your bank account. I got twenty five million cash. Net. You could go liquid with twenty five mil. Go liquid twenty five mil because I'll tell you what I do. You stop comedy. I'd stop comedy. I'd stop comedy with twenty five million cash. I'd stop it. I might still do like city spots. <laughs> yeah. Like no road no more, right? I'm gonna do one weekend a month. Right. Okay. Just something. Okay. Have fun a little bit. Okay. Twenty five mil. What's your plan? My plan is is to. I'd buy, um, what, I, what I would do is I would take a million dollars of it and I'd invest, I'd, I'd go, I'd lean into crypto. I'd buy some Bitcoin. So I asked my financial advisor a couple of weeks ago if I should dabble in crypto and he's like, we don't really do it. And he goes, and I don't really recommend it. It's still the wild west. But he's got a fiduciary responsibility to tell you that. Because he can't really invest, tell you invest something that's so volatile. It also all crashed this week. Yeah, it, uh, it did. But it's been crashing. I mean, all you hear are the, are the success stories. 
you hear like, oh, I made millions of dollars. You don't hear like people. Well, but, but I lost got, everything I had. But 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 you know, you should put a percentage of it into your. You know, like whatever percentage of portfolios. So it's like if you, if you're okay with the money going down because the plan is to not take it out for ten years, then who right. cares if it's if it's volatile now? Right. It should still. I mean, still, if you put money in Bitcoin five years ago, you're still up a, a, a not even close. You're up like a hundred percent more than you'd be in a bank. A friend of mine was talking to me about Bitcoin. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna call it seven eight seven years. When, when did Bitcoin come out? I think like 15 years ago or something like that. Like but seven, eight years ago, my friend was talking to me about trying to explain Bitcoin to me, a mm -hmm. buddy of mine. on, on And uh, he was telling everyone who would listen. And and everyone was like, eh, you know, we didn't buy it. And I think he bought a lot of it. And I, I don't know what, what he might be worth now. I haven't seen him in a bit. but He's got to be. He, he's he been, might have a Bengal he, he's tiger. He's been buying Bitcoin for like seven, eight years. Just continuously buying it. Yeah. Yeah, though, the thing is, the thing is, if you did it, it's like anything else now that it's, so open and public, you know. How does he get his money though? Who? How do you sell your Bitcoin and get money? You have to do it off the blockchain through an app or through like an, a, a crypto wallet. And then, but but who do you sell to for what price? Do you make the price up? If you sell it back to it's the blockchain. It's just what the stock the stock is that day. Yeah, yeah. So if you sold it today for I don't know whatever it is thirty six thousand dollars, right. and tomorrow it's fifty six thousand dollars. You you know you 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 don't. Right, but what if you done fucked up? What if it was the other way? If you bought it today for thirty six and tomorrow it's fifty six, you sell tomorrow. You made twenty thousand dollars in one day. You good, homie? If, if somebody else bought buys it though, yes, sir. But people might not buy it. But people not not buy it. And you got to pay dividends. You, you only have to pay tax when you sell it. Yeah. Right on the on the profit on the profit. Yep, and regular taxes. Apply. I think I think regular tax. Yeah, but the thing is, is is it's it, your accountant is right in the sense of it is wild wild west. Like there's people. I like, read I read an article that they got hacked. What do you love about Babel? I love Babel. If it's it's not only the number one language learning app, it's my number one language learning app. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have been brushing up on my Espanol, Whoa. and I've also been learning a little Polyvoo Francais. Whoa! It's on the app. They're fun ways to learn, scientifically proven to make a difference. It's not like when we used to go to high school and just memorize shit. No. Okay. Let me it's ask you a question. Fifteen minute lessons. I do it on my go. I do it on the train. You know, you could do it any way you want. True or false? It's made by artificial intelligence. False. Most other apps are. These have actual linguistic experts. There's 14 languages. All the hits are there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Uh, you can add, and there's so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, podcast games, video stories, even live classes. Babbel don't give a fuck. No, Babbel. <laughs> <laughs> Babbel is like the honey badger. They're the honey badger. Yeah, they don't they give don't an care. F. And right now, if you purchase a three month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel, B A B B E L dot com. Use promo code Hey Babe. That's B A B B E L dot com. Code Hey Babe. Babble. Babble. Language, Language for life. <laughs> DoorDash, baby. Ding dong. Uh, ding dong. Who is it? Ding dong. The DoorDash is here. Da, 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 do, da, 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 da. Ding dash. dong. The DoorDash is here. <laughs> what do you want to eat tonight? Maybe you want a home cooked favorite. Maybe you don't. <laughs> but, but, if you, but it doesn't matter. Because if you want something exciting or new, it would be great to stay in tonight. DoorDash connects you with everything you want, whenever and however you want. Okay? That's right, baby. It's time to get back out there. But if you're not quite ready for a full blown adventure, there's still ways to explore the world from the comfort of your home with DoorDash. You don't need to travel far to experience a new dish. It doesn't matter. Along with restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, Ooh. snacks, and other household items in under an hour. That's huge, huge, huge. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's Chipotle and Cheesecake Factory. And for a limited time, our listeners are going to get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code Hey, babe. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code Hey, babe. Don't forget, that's code Hey, babe for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject, Subject to, to change, change terms, terms apply. apply. It could get hacked too, they said. Uh, yeah. Somebody hacked a big one and then... And then just gave everything back, but he just they said he wanted to show the, the that there's a, oh, a nice guy a, a breach uh, how hacked. easy it is to have a hole in the, in the security. Yeah, it was a big article I read last week. Well, so, I know if you're on Coinbase, you're you're insured up to like two hundred fifty thousand dollars. You're insured from who? 
I think, from Coinbase, which is the app. Like, well, okay. So if you get hacked and lose that, up to two hundred and fifty grand, they're liable for. <laughs> what about over? Over, then I think you're. Then we're back in the wild, wild west. Right, but what I'm saying is, if I am a small time investor and I get, you know, hacked with my hundred thousand dollar, you know, maybe I I built it up to hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Fine, they give me they give me it back. But what if I'm someone that's trading like forty million dollars with it, and then I get hacked? They're gonna give me well that. because what because you can only get it hacked if if the money and bitcoins are online in Coinbase or on some type of server. But what you could do is you can take the coins off line and put them on like a memory stick and memorize a code of numbers that they can't hack it because you have it that's what we were listening we were hearing about during the boom a year or two ago when people were they threw out a hard drive that had the thing and it was in the garbage dump yes. it was worth 50 million dollars right right Ooh. right and then yeah people you would, bought one coin i got one coin one bitcoin i got one btc you had one btc and got, you didn't do eth nothing else no uh, i got some eth i got some eth and i got a couple of altcoins but I'm not heavy in the game like that. You know what I mean? But what do I have to do to get ETH? I'd go on Coinbase and get some ETH. I would go one I would go one bitty witty and and couple of ETHs. Yeah. Because ETH is the platform that the bitty witty is made on. But again, I really don't understand what I'm doing. Right. And my children might be suffering because of my <laughs> cryptocurrency. ETH is the flops. platform that bit is made on? Yes. ETH I think is the blockchain. I thought ETH was another Bitcoin. No, he NFTs are made on, on ETH. ETH. Yeah. I think that's what you're thinking of. No, but Ethereum is the th is also the part of the... It, it's gold and silver. No, but I think Ethereum is where the Bitcoin is made. I, I'm pretty sure Ethereum is the blockchain. <laughs> this is like the new birds and the bees. <laughs> <laughs> I look real good today. I, I look, look real, real good, good today. today. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So when you bought your bit, how much? I bought my bitty witty. It was like thirty grand. And now? And it went all the way up to sixty nine. Okay. And now it's back down to thirty four. And you just you just hold tight. I just hold. Because you're not going to sell at sixty nine. Because you're like, where could this go? I got. Remember when you and I talked about this last year? I got nervous. I sold it immediately. Lost money. I said, I hate this feeling of selling it and this and that. I said, just I I literally now I've deleted the Coinbase app off my phone, and I have it on a um little atomic wallet. Like I have it, like I've I've taken the Bitcoin offline, so now I just have it, so and I have I have a bunch of uh, words in my head, that that is the password. And if you forget them, it's rendered useless. Yeah, you're done. So you you have a little thing worth thirty six thousand dollars, and if you don't remember the code to it, it's worth nothing. Worth nothing. So how do you remember? How do you? Well, I have it memorized, and then I have it written down uh, somewhere, and then I also um uh. That's right. I have it written down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your memory's good. Yeah. Uh, well, wait. So, what if you want to purchase something using Bitcoin? Then I could I can convert the Bitcoin into cash, but then I'll have to pay taxes on it. So, people that say we take Bitcoin, yeah, how do they accept Bitcoin? That I, because I think whatever the price of something is, they take the percentage of the Bitcoin. So, if something's I don't know a thousand bucks and it's point oh two percent of your Bitcoin. And and so but I, you, so you can you can type in your Bitcoin number and purchase with Bitcoin. Or you that said you have I don't to know how you do that. I don't know. I don't know how they actually get the Bitcoin. All right. That I don't know because I've never tried to do that. All right. But you can also buy Ethereum with Bitcoin. You can buy crypto with other crypto. You can. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you a question right now. Should we buy? You know, see this girl, an ape, former Miss USA Chesley Christ, who jumped to her death. I went out on a date with her. And she what? passed away. She committed suicide two days ago. Very horrible. I went on a date with her like in 2018. Get out of here. 19. God. Such a nice, sweet woman. Miss Former Miss USA. I, I actually uh, almost dated a Miss USA. Remember I really? told you? I told you this story. Yeah, I met her at ESPN, uh, the ESPN zone in, 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 in uh, Times <laughs> Square. You never told us this. No. Yeah, no, you I did. You almost went out Miss no. USA at the ESPN zone? No, I did. I did. I well, told you. you did go out with Miss no, USA. No, I told you the story I had to have. I, I, never, yeah, I think you looked her up. The fact that you went to, because Miss USA in the ESPN zone is like a cartoon I want to write. No, no, I went there to watch the games, and then she was at the bar drinking alone. I was with like three or four friends, and uh, I ended up talking to her, and she was real cool. She knew, she like, 
she knew the game and everything. Like she like really like liked football and was like into it. And when she came and ended up sitting down with us for the whole time. And then we laughed, we cried. It was better than cats. And at the end of it, she said, "I got to tell you something. Uh, I, I I won Miss I was Miss USA. Just so you know, whatever. Because she gave me a n- number and everything. And I was like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah. And then um, we exchanged a few phone calls back and forth, and uh, never ended up dating. Her name was Kate Schindel. Kate Schindel. Yeah. Let's. There it is. Kate Schindel. There you go. And she was Miss America in 1998. Yeah. Kate Schindel. There you go. Yeah. And at the ESPN zone. Yeah. Just drinking a beer by herself watching the game. 100. Like 100 beers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. She was uh, just sitting there just drinking a beer. ESPN zone isn't even there anymore. It's not. I know. The one time I went to the ESPN zone, my aunt took me there and I was so looking forward to it for my birthday. I had a cold, couldn't taste the food. Ah, uh, COVID. I had it, I had COVID. COVID. I had COVID 1996. <laughs> yeah. was one of the first cases. You know, st- you know, it's getting insane now. Both my daughters, everybody in my, now, because at first I was saying in my family, I'm not getting COVID. I, my offspring never got COVID. My daughters never got it. But now even they got COVID and I still haven't gotten it. Now both, even, both daughters? Both daughters. The baby got it? The baby got How it. How do you know? Because, the older one had it, and then my baby fever, you know, uh, um, and you coughing, still didn't get it. Still nothing. You've never had it. Tested a, a hundred times, zero. Wild. It. My my boy said two weeks, two more weeks. I don't get it. Going. They're starting the study. They're going to start a study. You ready for this? What study I'm going to be a part of? They're going. You're going to do it. They're going to give me COVID nineteen and see what happens. It's a big study. Go Google study giving people COVID-19. This is a big thing that I you only qualify for it if you never got any of it. Wow. Yeah. New study gives insight. Uh no, it's um no, it's like um giving people COVID-19. Yeah, it's it's um it's a giving people COVID-19 research study or some shit like that. It just came out a couple uh, of days ago. Will you do it? I mean, no, I, this isn't it cuz this is August 31st. This just came out a couple of days ago. All right, maybe it's not that big of a maybe it's just like in uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you, would you do it for what? You're gonna do it to help the greater good. I guess I'll do it to help the great. I mean, I might ask if they can give me a board ape or something like that. But, right. But 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 I yeah. I mean, it it's just a little insane why how I never got it. Unless 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 I just never tested my antibodies. Right. 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 Because but they're saying but again my doctor friend is like I don't you did I tested I. In fairness, I haven't tested my antibodies in four months. Okay. But I was in contact with it five times before right, that and right. tested the antibodies and never even had the antibodies. I don't know. I don't understand it. You're I an don't anomaly. Get it. So, uh, should we buy a board ape right now? Would you like to buy C- one, Pimp? Pimp. Should we go three way yeah. on it? What, 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 are we, what are we doing here? Should we buy a board ape and just let it ride? Should we? Yeah. Should we give. Pimp a board ape and consider that his raise. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> B-Bird buys it. Okay, that's 500 ETH. Oh, nice. How do I buy? Open, Open an online one. account with any crypto exchange. I got one. Download a crypto wallet, such as MetaMask, to link got with OpenSea and store your ETH. I mean, listen to what we're saying. It sounds like, like, like Greek. Dude, in 2019, we would never be talking about wallets and this and variants and all. It's like we're living in a different world just two years later. By the yeah. way, I'm not drinking. Uh, I'm not going to have a uh, sip of alcohol till August 26th, my birthday. Zero alcohol. Is that okay. right? Zero. Wow. Going oh, zero. For eight months. Zero alky walky until August 26th. Unbelievable. So I'm going to have a big one. I'm going to get fucking smashed. Nice. Why is that? Because of what you did this weekend to yourself? Yes. This. Yeah. Week, I just, I had to wake up and say. It's a Louboutin cleanse. It's a Louboutin <laughs> cleanse. And I've been, I literally, because I've always been like, I don't drink, I don't drink, I don't drink. <laughs> Lit, literally. Yeah. I, I did the math in my head. You drink all the time. The last 48 days in a row, I've had at least one sip of alcohol 48 days in a row i've had alcohol at some point in the day what? sometime i've been smashed sometimes it's just been a sip yeah it's it's been i don't know what the hell's been going on i just wow been wine martinis you know sometimes i've been getting hammered yeah doing shows I, I, made, I made i made uh two or three martinis in the house the other night for the first time really yeah just i was just i i had a night off it was the weekend it was a snowstorm and i sat down to watch a movie and i made some martinis do you like them your own martinis? My, my own, yeah. They were good. Yeah. yeah, they were good. All right, so I'm in OpenSea. I think I have an OpenSea account, I think. How'd you get an OpenSea account? Because I wanted to get into this, and so uh, like months ago, I, I, I think I had, had someone make me one. Okay. So these are all owned, or these are all for sale? Both. 
So how much is one? Let's see. So let's you could look at all 10,000 of them right here. They're all documented. So you could go look at, at like at, at, at Bieber's right on here. Yeah, it should be on here if he still has it up. So for can you sale. click on one pimpy and see how much we can one could go for? How is it? How is it that they can make ten thousand different apes? So this is only a hundred and forty eight dollars. No, that's Ethereum. So it's three hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars. Yes. That. Yes. Yep. Three ninety eight. What? How do they make? How do they make it enough? How do they make enough variation in them that they can make ten thousand? I don't and they're all original. I mean, I know you well, can put... because they're different paint. Like, but will, they, will they do that exact thing, different colors? Yeah, no, no, look, look. You can see them. the rest of them. Yeah, go go, go back to the rest of them, Pimpy, yeah, if you going, can. It's going back. Yeah. Going see, back. they're all different ones. Yeah, but I'm saying there's 10,000 of them. Yeah. So, yeah. like, are you telling me that they're really 10,000 unique? Or, like, that guy right there with the pink hair, they'll sell another one him with blue hair, That's another one with yellow one. hair? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, do they? can you arrange them well, in look, price see, order? Well, look, pink hair has got a different color. One is a pink hair with a blue background. The other one was a booger green what background. What does that say at the top, Pim? What does that say? Is this stat up top? Uh, this scroll is up. low to high. But scroll up. Go high to low. What does that say? 10,000 items, 6.2 thousand owners, floor price, 118.69, volume traded. Okay. Okay. Go to um high to low. Let's see what the top one is. Yeah, let's go. What's this one? What? Now? What's this guy? And I don't know why he's so. Why is this guy valued so much? So this one uh -huh. is valued one hundred trillion dollars. Yes. Is that am I seeing that right? No, one hundred billion. So how much is that? One hundred billion ETH. ETH. So what is that? Twenty six nine twenty. That how many? How Wait, what? what is that price? It's four, one. Two, one, three, two, three, four. Is that two hundred and sixty-seven billion? No, it's more than that. One, two. That's million, billion, trillion. It's what's above trillion? That can't be right. That can't be right. <laughs> Make an offer. <laughs> Five. <laughs> uh, no, that doesn't make any sense. Wait, go back to that one more time. That's Pim. insane. Go back to that one more time. I, I, take that number and put we're it into, take that, that number and put it into Google and see what Just it so says. So we're on Open Sea. We're on the Board Ape Yacht Club. We're looking at the number one priced uh, uh, board ape. <laughs> Did, Did it match, match anything? Any so it's an it's an imaginable. It's un unimaginable. Well, because million is there. That means that's billion. That's trillion. What's above trillion? Quad quadrillion. Quadrillion. Even Bezos can't buy that puppy. What's above trillion? Gazillion. Zillion, gazillion, or trillion. Now, after a trillion, there comes a known a quadrillion. A quadrillion. <laughs> so go. it's 267 quadrillion. That's more money than we have in the world. Yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's not even. A, so that's just a. So who sets that price? I guess the, the market. The people that. No, the people that made these things, that minted that them. That might no? be somebody trolling, you know? So go, uh, go back to a more realistic one. Because they might be trying to aim for people like us looking high to low. So go it. down. Well, I mean, they're overshooting. Uh, they're they're overshooting even Jeff Bezos at 267 quadrillion. Let, yeah, let's see this one. What's this one? 3,001. Go ahead. Click on this guy. But what makes. So what what gives one its value? Seven million million, this one. Oh, Holy my. It's got blue teeth, God. though. God. Looks good. Looks fun. But who is going to buy it? Some of the guys from nah, Succession. Seven million. <laughs> Roy. Would Logan Roy buy this? I like this one. He might, actually. He might. I'm trying to get Logan Roy to. Give me a shout-out video on Cameo. No response. Logan Roy? Yeah. The actor that plays Logan Brian Roy. Brian Cox? Yeah, I'm trying to get Brian he's Cox. He's on Cameo? No, he's not on Cameo. We're trying to get a shout I'm trying to go, like, to his agent, get a, just get a shout-out. <laughs> For what? I don't know. I just put it on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait. Yeah, so. But what, 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 if I buy an, if I buy one. Okay. Do I put the price tag on it when I want to sell it? I, or is it like, how does it, how does it go? Yeah, up? And, and that's a good question. And Pimp, another question is, is there just one person making these one artist? That, well, that collection was a single artist or somebody who paid a artist to make it for them. Pimp, by the way, has got corduroy shirt and pants on. If you came, you have to come one day with corduroy socks and a corduroy hat, and you'll look like um, the, 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 the rock from the Fantastic Four. What was that guy's name? Oh, the thing. The thing. The thing. You look like the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I I wish your name was Roy because Corduroy would be a great. Nickname. I know. I like. I, I know. Cor I I I I say Pimp is in quarter and I spell it quarter Q U A R T E R. Corduroy. And people scream at me. They're like, "You idiot! That's not how you spell it." I'm like, "Oh, look at dumb old me." I don't. 
you, <laughs> you look, I swear, you really look like you, there's a piano in your home. Yeah. You you host dinner parties. Yep. You've you have invested in a horse. I look like I'm in succession. I look like yeah. I'm in because I've been watching the show so much. I look like I'm Roman Roy. You do. You look like you have a sailboat. Now is this my look or no? I like it. I don't see you in these colors in this style too often. You want to see another surprise from the side? Sure. It's, it only it looks like you side. married someone from this kind of family, and she changed you. She changed me, yeah. but she can't change me all the way. Because look at me from the side. I'm get I'm cutting my hair into a mullet. Yeah, I saw that fade, bro. What do you think of it? I saw that. Are you really going? Yeah. You know what, seven? You ever heard of the haircut of seven? It was no, like a big haircut with Colombians. But I guess I could tell what it is. I'm it's going with a seven. That? Yeah. <laughs> you're doing that. I'm do going a mullet. Like Theo a, Vaughn's not going to be the only one with a mullet. I was going like, to say, like, you're going to have Theo's hair? Theo's got a southern mullet. I'm going with a northern mullet. So is that the first step? This is the first step. I'm going with the union mullet. Yeah, <laughs> Union mullet. Yeah, did you do that purposely, or did they just do it and that's what you got? I said uh, for the f one time in my life, I want to grow a mullet and see how I feel. And so far, I don't feel great. <laughs> Why do didn't you do it? it all? Why didn't you just do it all? Well, this is what he said. This, this he, he said he cuts here, and then he, he slowly grows it out into the mullet. Uh, what do you think? No good. I gotta see it. I would love to see you in a mullet. I could probably go to get to mullet right now, right? If I oh just my see you, you actually, it, it literally is just a, it's just oh, a trim. Right, right, a mullet. Right, that right. should be a punishment. That's great. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, it's How to sell an NFT. It's extremely hard. As with any other business, it requires work and intelligence. <laughs> Merely listing <laughs> no, NFTs thanks, without Mom. having a prior audience or online presence and expecting to sell them is short-sighted. I understand that, too. Because I wanted to also see about, like, I wanted to get into it and buy it and, and become part of the community, actually. So that, like, in the future, if I want to trade them or whatever with them, I'm, I'm literally, you know, in... In the community, I'm, I'm I'm someone that's lending to the community of the NFTs. Yeah, and you you notice now when when people there was a lot of blowback about because it, it it's bad for the environment to uh, the blockchain is to mint these right, things to, to, and to mine crypto to, right or to, and to do the NFTs like yeah. the power it takes yeah. But you see that you don't hear a lot of those criticisms anymore now because there's too much money in it. It is right. Yeah, it's too much money in. It. By the way, I um my um uh, um you know it was big snowstorm, snow ice all that. I left the salt, left my salt inside my house. Stupid move. I think I was. I think of my family and I've been breathing in salt mist, Ugh. and yeah, because I've had a burning sensation in my throat. I left mine in the house. I had it in a bag though. I, I closed the bag. No, see, I had a big open hole okay. in the bag, and I think, and I'm almost positive my daughter see, ate a couple of those salt. Oh pellets. man, what what can you do? Yeah, you can't do anything about that. No, that, you, you can't do it. anything about it. No, I just but. To be honest with you, for the first time ever in my life, ever, i not considering leaving New York, but the thought has popped to my head where I'm like, I kind of don't want to deal with the cold anymore. I really was like uncomfortable. And I'm Christy Cold Weathers. Right. I was just uncomfortable this last couple of days in the cold. And I was like, what am I doing? Where are you going? What are you thinking? Florida. <sighs> Too hot in the summer. That's a lot. Florida's a lot. Too much. Yeah. Where would you go if it wasn't New York? Wait, I'm considering climate or no? Yeah. Oh, oh, man. I don't know. We talked about this. We said San Fran was a place we liked. San Fran's the weather, but the I mean, prices are outrageous and you'll get shot and killed in the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. New York is it for me, really. New York, it's New Maybe York a bust. Uh, yeah. You know, you know what would be the best, actually? London. Oh, yeah. If international, because the weather's great. You know, yeah. 55 to 70, raining all the time. I love it. Yeah, barely snows. Does you it love snow the rain. in London? I don't know. Does it? Does it ever snow in London? I don't think Has so. To. Has to. Below freezing. Not uncommon. Snow is not unheard of. Yeah. So it's 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 not saying like so. It never really snow. It's not like a snowstorm. Oh look, at Heathrow on average, some snow sleet occurs on average twelve days during the winter season, from November to April. That's we don't get more than twelve snow days here, do we? I mean, I, but I feel like it's not, you would never say that snow is not unheard of in New York. Snow is likely in New York. Yeah. If, for them to say it's not unheard of, right, it's not right, that big of a right, deal. Right, I'm right, going to London right. this summer. I'm going to do shows. And I want to go to Italy. So, uh, February 5th. This Saturday. Oh, it's this Saturday. Yeah. Oh, so this is coming out two days before it. Yeah, Saturday. Okay, so. Beacon Theater. In two, in two days. New York City. You're to Beacon Theater. Beacon Theater sold out. Um, you're going to come, babe? I'm going to come hang out. Sal's going to come. Yeah. Sal and babe's going to come. And uh, May 14th. Rhymes with 
Sneak in theater as well. Sal at the Beacon Theater. Rhymes with it. Rhymes with it. Rhymes with Beacon Theater. A.K.A. the Streakin Theater, because I'm going to come run across that stage naked before you go on. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so nothing's up yet. Nothing's on the internet yet. Nothing's on sale yet. But just so you know, New Yorkers, I've never headlined here before in my life, and I've been waiting to do it for years, and finally... Your boy's coming home. Your boy's coming. So. To the Beacon Theater, May 14th. Will Board Apes tickets, can they get in? We will take Board Ape tickets. You'll take Board Ape? Yes. Also Ticketmaster, but Board Ape as well. 100%. I think, honestly, we really should look at a Board board Ape and invest. (laughs) You want to do it? As long as there's one that's like not. Um, like under a million, no? Like, I mean, like. There's there's some that are like. Can we we still get one for like 25K? No, 200K. 200K is the, is the basement. I think so. A bullshit board ape is 200K. Yeah, yeah but let me ask you guys. There's 10,000 board apes. If I, and the first one was worth 267 quadrillion dollars. Right. If I'm buying the 200,000 dollar board ape, right? Other is everybody else or the other 9,000 people looking at me and be like, oh, he's got a shit ape. Yeah, he's got the bottom basement ape. <laughs> but my like, question is, is is with inflation might go down a little bit, but that 200K board ape could be worth 600K by the end of the year. We let's, can make we can make four and an ape. It. But who's gonna buy it? Only somebody else looking for an ape. How about this? We're gonna invest in this board ape. We'd wanna take one more co-investor. We ha- we're only opening it up to one to a third co-investor, but you have to have proof of your ticket March eleventh at the Ryman Theater in Nashville, Tennessee, when Sal and I are co-headlining at the Ryman Theater in Nashville, Tennessee. If you have proof of purchase of that ticket, you are enter the lottery to be the third <laughs> co-investor of the two hundred thousand dollar bullshit board ape that we're gonna buy. That's exactly right. And this has been Hey Babe. This has been Hey Babe. Don't be a fake, don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe.